Hello, you all. So, if you are interested in learning how to print on tights or spandex or anything in that category, um, just stay tuned. So, this little outfit, polyester and spandex uh, material. I don't know, bodysuit. I don't know what these people call these things. But, anyhow... The girl want me to print something on it for her. So, I have already created the design. It's going down the pants legs. She is a uh, shorter lady. So, I just made hers around, um, I think the height is like only a 20 or something like that. And what I'm doing now is I'm placing my vinyl. So, this is the type of vinyl that I use for tights. It's called Pro Stretch Vinyl. Um... This vinyl right here is it's easy to use and it's good to use with like anything for like women, especially like a lot of women's like to wear tight clothing. So this is very good for things like that because it's gonna stretch with the woman's curves. So this is the vinyl. Okay, so this design will be mirrored, and I am using a 24 inch board. However, that this design is only going to 20. But I need to make sure that on the 12 mark, nothing is hitting the 12. So, I've done that. So, while that's getting together, I have this Teflon sheet or Teflon mat. Um, I don't know what it is. It got cushion in the inside. So, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to insert it in the side that I'm going to put it on. So, so. I'm gonna get over here can y'all see okay so this is the pants leg i'm gonna turn this teflon sheet or um pad sideways because i want it to be sideways okay and i normally um when i do it i normally try to put it started like right there where the little crouch area is that way it can start on the hip and go downwards and most tights already have like a little crease in them so it's easier for you to see the um crease line and i probably won't be able to do the whole entire thing at one time so i'll just do a piece and then i'll scoop the sheet down and i'll do another piece Okay, so that's that. All right, so now my um, design is completely printed. So the reason why I say push more is because if y'all could see, you cannot see any, and I do mean any, of the cuts it's hard to see so that's part of messing with this type of vinyl you can't see any of the cuts front or back it's very hard to see i set my heat press for 305 but i'm going to get over here and i am going to weed this design so let me see. And that's the good thing about being able to look at the design too. Because you will know where stuff is kind of at, in my opinion. And I have to be careful with this because unlike um regular vinyl, the design will peel up just like regular. See? I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but my design is starting to come up. So, I have to go in and just pull it back down. So, I know that this is a D. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of this paper because I know I don't need it for anything. Or rather, I won't be able to use it. Stretch vinyl is not the easiest to work with. I can tell you all that. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to make y'all sit through all of this, so I'm going to go ahead and read this, and then I will be back, because me weeding this kind of stuff takes a little longer than me weeding a regular... I see I push more down on her and it's still be acting strange with me. But I'm trying to make sure that I don't take any of the extra dots that they be having. Okay. Anyways, once I finish weeding, I'll be back. I don't know why I stopped it. I should have just let it keep going so y'all could see. Everything. And I know some of y'all probably like my blade though, but it's not. It does this if you have a new blade, any type of blade. It sticks, which that's what it needs to do. That way it won't easily break once it starts stretching on that person's leg. It's going to be able to stretch in many ways without it just popping you use regular vinyl for a pair of top okay so for those of you that don't know here is just a little small clip of me re um weeding htv regular vinyl or whatever you want to call it as you can see or maybe you can't you can actually I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But you can actually see where it was cut. So for this one, you don't really have to worry about anything coming up. That's the easiest part on this one. It probably took me about maybe 7 to 10 minutes or so to um, weed the other one just because I'll be trying to be cautious. This one here literally takes you probably a couple of seconds to do. I know for sure not a minute, but a couple of seconds at least. See? So something um, spindles, it will pop. So yeah, you gotta be very careful not to miss like the small details. A small detail, but it made a difference. And then going in and find out where you need to. Um, the middle pieces that you need to take out is kind of hard too. You can't see nothing. I thought I seen, yeah. Because I thought I seen a little line. Don't do what I just did because this little thing hurt when it popped your fingers. I think that's it. I don't know what this piece is. Why is it coming off? No. I think that needs to come off. Okay, y'all, I go back there and look. I might do it. Okay, now I need to find a piece for the arm. Yeah, I started heating up my heat press a little bit too early. You don't have to uh, do your heat press as early as I did because it takes a while to kind of weed this stuff. I'm not going to even lie.
I hope this is not what I think. I thought I was going to put it in. Okay, well, that's the first part. The second part. Okay, so I'm just going to start about right here. And if you want to just be sure that your design, you can always just fold it to put it in the middle or the center. But I think I'm going to be okay. Come down to that right there. Okay, so that part is on there, and then this part is going to be right under it. Okay, I set my heat press already to like 305, and we're just going to print, I mean press for 10 to 15 seconds. Ten to fifteen seconds, and then you want to peel while it's warm. You let it get hot. It's not gonna peel as easy. I mean, if you let it cool off, it's not gonna peel as easy. And then I'm just gonna take this piece off. And I'm also going to adjust my pad and scoot it down that way it can get a nice even press then we're gonna let this go for another 10 to 15 seconds I always like to do like a double press just to make sure that everything is down real good. And I forgot to fix that. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to fix it. I'm going to see if I can fix it. The longer you uh, try to press on these tights, and the more you press on these tights, sometimes the, the color will seep through if the tights are new and haven't been washed. So you have to be careful for that, especially like with the white. Because you don't want your white turning black. I'm going to remove that. And as y'all can see, let me show y'all. See how the tight stretch? That's your tights. It's not going to pop no matter how big they are. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, here is just a little small clip of me re um weeding HTV regular vinyl or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, or maybe you can't, you can actually I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But you can actually see where it was cut. So for this one, you don't really have to worry about anything coming up. Because the only thing that's going to come up is the actual design. So that's the easiest part on this one. It probably took me about maybe 7 to 10 minutes or so to... Um, Weed the other one just because I'll be trying to be cautious. This one here literally takes you probably a couple of seconds to do. I know for sure not a minute, but a couple of seconds at least. See? Quick, easy, simple.